want to start something, you need to start for you first. I must enjoy what I'm doing. It will be a big challenge. It will be a lot of work. We became more open to ideas and possibilities of what we could do. Because you are able to map out a clear guaranteed way of achieving your goals. Africa, the greatest potential lies in people who want to set things in motion. The Journey to Excellence program supports and empowers them. SAFRI, the Southern Africa initiative of German business, supports Journey to Excellence program workshops throughout the region. Their goals to improve business competitiveness, to promote the establishment of an entrepreneurial, responsible, proactive way of thinking in individuals, businesses, or any other organization. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your business. Take charge of your project. The J2X program begins with a new mindset. Are you excited? Very, very. <laughs> I think so, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since we're in a program that's called the Journey to Excellence, we want to make sure that we prepare really well. We want to make the most of this opportunity that, that has been really given to us, has been afforded to us, and that's what this, this workshop is going to be all about. One of the things that we started out thinking about is where are the gaps? What is it that entrepreneurs especially small and medium-sized entrepreneurs could learn from, for example, the German business community. And so the work that we started doing almost 15 years ago now was primarily in the area of business excellence and how to become more competitive as a business, how to do business internationally. As southern African economies have generally expanded in the new millennium, Zimbabwe experienced a decade of decline. The country is only slowly recovering from years marked by political conflict and a massive shrinking of the economy. Temba Nkomo built up his first company, Premier Gaskets, during these hard times. He drew entrepreneurial inspiration from some of the earliest workshops. When I, when I first saw Temba, he was a young accountant. He was the kind of guy, if he was supposed to get up in the front of the room, he'd stand in the corner with his hands in his pockets and speak quietly. <laughs> and so what I've seen over time is how he's blossomed into what I like to call a serial entrepreneur and one of Zimbabwe's really most successful business people, I think you could say. And so it's been, I think, a journey on, on his part. It's been a journey on my part as well. So it's been one of the great pleasures of my life to see the way he and, and people like him have grown. Now the head of a number of companies, Temba Nkomo shares his values and his experience with a new generation of workshop participants. For me, whatever I do, I must have fun. I must enjoy what I'm doing. If I'm not enjoying what I'm doing, I must really evaluate it and say, do I need to be doing this? I wouldn't say it's easy. Uh, we've come through what we are calling the unnecessary decade, where we effectively lost 10 to 12 years of our lives. But be that as it may, that is history that has happened. Nobody can change it. But we now need to look forward and say, where are we going as, as a country? Where are we going as a city or as a family or even just as a business? Where do we want to go? And I think the opportunities are plenty. Um, but we need to, to be cognizant of the challenges as well. The opportunities are there, but there are challenges. 
But I think one of the things that Zimbabweans have always had, and I think still do to this day, is the advantage that um, we have as a people. We have a very high literacy rate in this country, probably the highest in Africa. And we need to take advantage of that. Our people are educated. We have a very uh, motivated workforce. And we need to have to take those advantages and put them into the opportunities and, and, and move forward. It's, we're coming off a low base, so it should be pretty reasonably easy to move forward. Big Things Clothing is one of Zimbabwe's aspirational startups. Two young designers who have entered the young fashion market. Just a few months ago, they attended a Journey to Excellence program workshop. This, to me, was the most memorable experience about J2X. It's a flash drive for some, it's not a bank card, it's a flash drive. It came with uh, a whole bunch of case studies that we've been using over the last six months since J2EX to sort of like cultivate ideas in our heads and whatnot, past experiences from other people that have benefited. We became more open to ideas and possibilities of what we could do. This, the learning, it was mostly about our lives, but then we, it ended up transcending into like our business and how we run things and... Yeah. The J2X program always works with local partners. In Zimbabwe, for example, Stanbic Bank. Stanbic's clients include entrepreneurs with small and medium-sized businesses, one of the J2X program's most important target groups. In Zimbabwe right now, where you find more and more people are getting into business, but they are getting into business without the skills. Um, we have taken it upon ourselves as the bank and taken a deliberate uh, strategy to actually concentrate on those who have actually come up, uh, who are having a, a relationship with us, and uh, who are exhibiting uh, the kind of aptitude to work with them so that we take them to the next level. Stanbic Bank has been one of our sponsors in past workshop and what they did is first of all their SME team was part of the workshop and that team brought in some of their most promising clients into the workshop. Uh, that was a take charge of your business and Brian, the one that we um, we mentioned or I mentioned earlier, was also one of those participants in that workshop. So for us, working with a bank like Stanbic is very exciting because they have direct access uh, to the SME business community. And they also know who looks most interesting, who looks like they could really go someplace if they get a bit of a, an additional push. And so for us, that's a very, very interesting type of partnership. Corporate social investment is an important part of doing business. In Zimbabwe, for example, the Turk mine uses the Journey to Excellence program as the framework for its local community development activities. So we believe that social innovation is of paramount importance for people's lives to be changed. And when people's lives will be changed, there will be a more safe, more sustainable production uh, environment for, for our gold reserves. Namibia a dry, sparsely populated country on the Atlantic Ocean has outstanding natural resources. Diamonds, uranium, copper. Tourists enjoy its unique landscapes and wildlife. Our J2X workshop group from Zimbabwe is visiting for another reason. In their workshop, they were developing the idea of constructing and running a youth center in their community near Turkmine. Now, the mine is supporting their plans with a look and learn trip to Namibia. Either by setting your vision, making it clear to yourself, 
your mission, making it clear to yourself. What are the critical success factors? What are the things that will determine you to achieve the objectives that you've set for yourself? And these were the challenges that we didn't have. These are the tools that were not available for us. And for me, I call Journey of Excellence a state-of-the-art technology in succeeding. Because you are able to map out a clear, guaranteed way of achieving your goals. Besides developing goals and strategies, looking beyond the horizon is an important aspect of J2X workshops. The group is visiting youth empowerment facilities and projects demonstrating low energy and water saving design and construction methods. So we developed a waterborne system on site connected to a biogas plant and a wetland. Meaning this place here has about nearly 4,000 square meters under a roof. We have more than two dozen toilets. How is it? <laughs> so good. We are not connected to the municipal sewer network. Not connected. We don't pay a blue cent to the municipality. It shows you, you can do it with alternative systems. Mm -hmm. Educational institutions are also important partners for the Journey to Excellence program. These include both private and public institutions, such as the Polytechnic of Namibia. Networking is a key aspect of the Journey to Excellence. Many international relationships, personal, professional and even institutional, have grown out of the program's activities. Madagascar, the Spice Island in the Indian Ocean, is one of the poorest countries in the world. Most Malagasy scratch a living off the land. At least three out of four live in poverty. One third of the population is undernourished. Malagasy businesses find it very hard to compete internationally, especially following recent political upheavals. Ready? 30 seconds. Go! Hey, salut! Bonjour! Oh, ça va? Très bien! Comment tu vas? Ça va? Ouais, donc euh, là, euh, que oui. je te présente Azara Valson. Fela Ratsa Firason is a J2X workshop facilitator. She's practicing a Malagasy version of an elevator pitch with participants in one of her workshops. Okay. Thank you! C'est cool, hein? On regarde aussi ce que font les autres, hein? Okay. Quelque chose qui, qui, est, qui est pas facile à faire. Oui, Comment euh, donner le maximum d'informations Laps de temps et il ne faut pas dire n'importe quoi, mais dire l'information la plus importante. Et ça, c'est difficile de, de gérer. Essayez de, de, de vous asseoir, de vous poser la question. Si je rencontrais quelqu'un, comment est-ce que je peux me présenter Et n'oubliez pas que les opportunités, euh, ça passe comme ça. Et peut-être que vous n'avez réellement, vous n'aurez que 30 secondes. That is a little problem about Mal Madagascar being an island. Uh, we are in here, we don't see what happens uh, in, in the world. So this is really important for young people to see also what happens there. And especially what happens in big companies and in an international level company. Ce qui est important à savoir ici, à retenir, c'est que L'avenir n'est pas le résultat juste de choix, de, de choses qui se trouvent et euh, du coup euh, qui se passent comme ça. Ici, quand on parle, dans ce séminaire, quand on parle d'avenir, c'est quelque chose qui est créé. Uh, this program gives that opportunity to uh, position ourselves and then to improve. Quatre-vingt-dix des, des Malgaches vivent dans un milieu assez pauvre, un milieu euh, où il y a la délinquance. Et donc, on a besoin, si on veut que le pays change, ce sont vraiment ces, ces gens, les gens de ce milieu-là qui ont besoin de, de changer de vie, de changer de, de perspective et de façon de voir. A vision is a dream with a plan. 
Clotilde Ranavasan believes you must begin thinking early about how to turn dreams into reality. She has developed a program to introduce Journey to Excellence concepts to young children in one of Madagascar's many poverty-stricken neighborhoods. Pourquoi les, les petits, quand ils atteignent l'âge de 10-12 ans, pour pouvoir survivre, ils doivent euh, voler, ils, doivent, ils viennent d'un milieu violent, ils, ils, ils suivent l'exemple de leurs aînés dès qu'ils atteignent un certain, un certain âge. D'où donc la, la nécessité de vraiment les prendre des tout-petits, de faire vraiment leur éducation. Il y avait un petit garçon qui, qui a vu un hélicoptère dans, dans sa vision. Dans cet hélicoptère, il, il voit juste, ce n'est pas lui qui vole dedans, mais il est en train de regarder. Et l'objectif du programme, c'est justement de permettre à ce que lui, il se voit en train de con conduire l'hélicoptère au lieu de rester juste spectateur. Even kids must be boosted. And the Journey to Excellence and especially the Take Charge of Your Life program is a very good way to boost everyone, even the, the kids. I think that when the people that have been there start talking about it, talking about the benefits out of those uh, workshops, then I think that they, they'll be able to, to continue. They are the people that really need to, to market and, and propel it forward. I'm very pleased to have been able to be even a small part of what those people have built. So I think that's part of the excitement and the pleasure in what I do in, is being able to see that the investment that Safri's been making has been actually carrying fruit. Sometimes it's small, but sometimes it really hit the jackpot. Inhaltlich hat das Journey to Excellence uh, the, the Ziel ganz klar zu sagen, okay, achtet euch selber, Leute, denkt an eure Zukunft, wie geht es weiter? Wir haben dann im Laufe der Zeit gesehen, dass auch die, die Arbeitseffizienz besser wird, weil die Leute sich weniger Sorgen machen mussten über das, was zu Hause passiert. A lot of the things I learned, even from as early as the first workshops that I've been to, are still used today. Their own journey is changing, my own journey is changing in terms of the way we view this. This has opened up our eyes. Südafrika steckt wie der gesamte afrikanische Kontinent voller Energie. Die junge Bevölkerung wächst sehr stark. In dieser Jugend und den mit ihr verbundenen Talenten liegt ein herausragendes Potenzial und eine riesige Chance für den gesamten Kontinent. <Musik>